Yeah, good morning, everybody. We're here live at the state capitol this morning for Arts Day. I am here with Amber Sharple. She is the executive director of the Oklahoma Arts Council. Thank you for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you for having me. And first, just want to ask you, what is Arts Day for a lot of people who may not know? Arts Day is an opportunity for citizens, artists, nonprofits, teachers, educators, business corporation leaders, corporate leaders to come to the capitol to talk about the importance and the value of the arts in our state. Okay. And I hear it's getting rowdy in there. Before we get to the meat of the matter, which is budget cut, what is going on inside these doors here? Well, right now, this is the kickoff rally that is organized by Oklahomans for the Arts, the state advocacy organization, and they're rallying um, citizens across the state to talk about the value of the arts. The infrastructure that the Oklahoma Arts Council and citizens across the state and nonprofits have created and developed over the last five decades and its importance in building our future as a state. Okay, so a really big day for you guys, a really big day for our state. Back to budget cuts, though, I mean, $1.3 billion budget shortfall. You usually think of it affecting education, health care, but how has it trickled down to you guys, to the arts? Well, the Oklahoma Arts Council has received a 37% reduction over the last few years. And obviously, like other state agencies, we're having to share in the sacrifice. But we also want to really make a case that the arts are vital to arts education, to helping teachers, providing them professional development, keeping art in schools. I think every parent believes that their students deserve, their children deserve arts education as their formation to make them competitive in the 21st uh, global and uh, creative workforce. We want them to be ready to take on the challenge of the next few decades. And you were telling me before we came back in to show, you're already down, what is it, some 37% yes. of funding? Yes, 37% since fiscal year 2010. And so obviously we've had to make reductions and absorb many of those costs and reduce our services. And we know that the state's dealing with some major challenges. But in the long term, keeping the arts strong is a very good return on investment. For every dollar of public funds that we seed into these organizations and schools, we receive a we see a 14 on average return on our investment. So whenever it's hard for legislators to make these very difficult decisions, we know that they can feel confident that, that investing in the arts actually yields very positive results for our state. And what is the social, what is the economic impact that the arts have here? How much does it contribute to our state? How many people are employed by the arts? Um, the the uh, arts and cultural industries employs more than 10,000 jobs across our state. It has a $29 million state and local tax revenue base that it brings in every year, and it also is a 300 million plus industry. So when we think of the arts, it is a very robust tool in terms of economic development. And in times like this, when things are tight, we want to invest in our communities and make sure that private and corporate funding is coming into our communities to keep them strong. Okay. And my last question for you, uh, the arts is a very, you know, vital part of the learning process for our kids. Does this worry you about the future for future artists, for children's education here in the state? We definitely want to see um, funds so we can invest in, in our kids. I think it's vital that arts education remain at the core of instruction to keep our kids competitive, make them creative, and as we're constantly talking about testing and other areas in terms of formation of our kids, the arts are the vital tool that keep our kids engaged, keep them coming to school, and obviously help enrich their learning experiences through science, math, technology, engineering, etc. It really helps to make the, that go from uh, knowledge to true understanding. Okay. Amber Sharples, thank you so much for being with us this morning. If you want to come check out Arts Day today at the Capitol, it is free, so come as you please. Reporting live at the State Capitol, Marky Martin, KOCO 5 News.